Okay, this is part two. You see, I have this mounted in here, this lip. You can see the top lip is flush with this. Now what I did, I used carriage bolts because I didn't realize I had two layers here. So I used carriage bolts. And I'll show you the pieces of steel I used to make those little, uh, little washers, if you will. Um, and then what I did is I cut some shims out of the same material, put two here, two here-ish, of course, and I used some, uh, uh, it's like JB Weld steel stick to hold those in place while I put it, while I got the bolts in, and then I just put a, a gob right here. It's not meant for structural integrity, but it's... I mean, it's pretty solid. And then, right here, it's going to be an LED strip light. I've already got those. Oh yeah, and I think I showed this last time, the hole. So my wire is gonna go, to, for the strip light, is gonna go down this soffit. And I'm gonna run all the wire, whatever. This right here, I've already got the strip lights work. I've already got the, uh, you can see I got it. I already soldered it and got my shrink wrap. and looks pretty, kind of pretty if I do say so myself. And then, this is the steel I used to cut those little shims and those little washers and stuff. You can see, I'll go back over to the truck now. You can see though, I have one done. All I gotta do now is put this bed rail on. That's no big deal. And then I've already got this one cut for this side. It's already cut and drilled and I've got the shims and everything. Ah, oh, so cold. It's Las Vegas, man. It's supposed to be between 80 to 110, it's like 40 degrees. So, uh, that's part two. I'm gonna do the LED strips down here. Um, and I'm gonna do the LED strips underneath the truck. So of course, when, uh, when the cargo light turns on, I know we covered this last video, um, my bed will be nice and lit up, so. Uh, the next one will show uh, all the lights on. Uh, but that's it for now. Till the next time.